I, Nanan Dr. Michael Ejikum Adu, encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, EPV Media YouTube channel now, in order to have constant access to this very revealing series from renowned entrepreneurs like me on secrets of business success. Please subscribe now. Casa Proco is a, is a wholly Ghanaian company. Um, we've been doing business in Ghana for the past 29 years. Um, it was started by Dr. Kabneje, as I told you. Okay. Um, it was started by him and about five different people as well, as his employees. Um, we started the company as a producer of gin. Okay. Um, so Casper Dry Gin is the first product from, from the company. But um, as I speak now, um, the company is doing close to 15 different products of alcoholic drinks. Okay. And we are doing also another, maybe another 15 um, different products of soft drinks. And we are now also doing our own water, which is called Awake, Awake okay. Purified Water. Um, the soft drinks we it's called um, Royal Soft Drinks, um, High Five Chocomalt, um, Storm Energy Drink, Superstar Multi Fruiter. We are one of the largest companies in terms of manufacturing. We have about five high speed lines that are running from 15,000 bottles an hour to 40,000 bottles an hour. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, it's not only focused in Ghana, we do a lot of exports. I'll say close to about 30% of our revenue is, from, is generated from the export markets. Oh, okay. So, when did you come in as a CEO then? Oh, I started uh, 2015, but before then, um, I was still in the company in different in various positions, both in finance operations, um, manufacturing as well. Um, that was between 2011 and 2013. In 2014, um, I did a one-year program with KPMG on the audit and uh, consultancy side. In 2015, I came in as the CEO of the company. I'm not the only um, should I say, um, child of Dr. Kopnege managing this great company. Okay. Um, I'm here with other siblings that we all manage the company together. Uh, my brother is the one that designs most of our bottles, most of our, uh, our calendars, most of our posters, okay. uh, most of our labels. My brother is designing it. I have my sister, which is um, Eunice J who is um, also managing the sovereigns and water side. Mm. Um, my brother is Isaac. Um, you have my other sister who is also managing the packaging side of the business, um, Emilia. Um, and Abigail is doing procurement. So it's a, it's a family business. My mom is the only one that has taken a, st uh, a step back. Okay. And my dad is, as you know, founders. They are, they are, their blood are always connected with the business. So mm. he comes around. Um, Often as well. In terms of business ideas, um, one, I'll say that ideas need to be tested, um, tried, um, before you know that it's viable. You can test it with family members, you can test the idea with friends. Um, if you have a bit of money, invest the money in the business or the idea on a small scale and test it to see. And um, once you test, um, mainly and um, what will show that your idea is viable is the demand that is coming in. Um, I, I quite recall that my dad always tells a story that when he started, um, obviously as a Ghanaian company in those days, um, he used to say that people did not want to patronize Ghanaian products mm. uh, because they felt it was not quality enough. Um, so what he did is his product also, the dry gen itself, when it started, I'll say it was crawling, um, but people claim oh, it's Ghanaian, it's not quality, um, we prefer the international brands. He said one day he decided to pour his gin into the bottles of an international brand and give it to people to drink. And when they drank, they were like, oh wow, this is very good, this is very good, this is very good. This is very good. Um, so from there, he knew that his drink, the content itself, was good. But you are looking at branding, you are looking at packaging, and you are looking at trying to change the perception of others. Um, so you know that even though people 
were skeptical in taking it, um, he found a different way of testing it to know that his idea was good. In your, well, do you think everybody and anybody can be an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurship can be learned. There are some people that believe that only entrepreneurs are born. But, I mean, some people may not have the flair, but if you learn it, I think you would get it. If you have the, you have the feeling that you want to try it, don't feel shy. Don't, don't be, don't be, um, should I say, have, have the confidence to try it. Um, I think that that will take you far. It is uh, sometimes said that, um, particularly for startup, if you have to be successful, you need to be thrifty, you need to be mean, sometimes even very ruthless. Do you agree to that? You don't need to be mean. You don't need to okay. be mean. You don't need to be, do you need to be ruthless? I don't think you need to be ruthless. Okay. Um, do you need to, to be drifty? I think so. I think so. You are talking about negotiating maybe on a hard level to try to get the best for your business. Mm. Um, look at other sources of your raw materials. Um, at the same time, you are working in a, say, in an economy that um, if you don't do a lot of follow-ups, some of the employees may, may, may take a back seat. Um, so to me, you certainly need to do a lot of follow-ups. You need to look at what the employees are doing. Um, but you don't need to be mean and ruthless. Please subscribe to the channel now so that you won't miss out on any of this and other revealing interviews we have with other entrepreneurs in Ghana. Thank you very much.